Today we are going to be learning how to find the area of a triangle. We will have another special guest along for this video that will help explain and provide answers to some of the questions. Please join Sandy as she helps us learn how to find the area of a triangle. The Biosphere 2 complex in Tucson, Arizona researches Earth and its living systems. Sections of the building are interlocking triangles of the same size. There are two triangles that are outlined in the photo. They have the same blank and the same shape. Oh, sorry. They have the same size and the same shape. When two figures have the same size and same shape, that means they are congruent. Draw the figure that is formed by the two triangles. Please draw what you think the figure is that is formed by the two triangles in this space right here. See how it compares to mine. Hopefully you recognize this shape from the first section in this unit area of a parallelogram. What we just formed was a parallelogram. You can see that a parallelogram is formed by two triangles. How many small triangles make up the outlined parallelogram? So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There are 18 triangles in the parallelogram. How many small triangles make up each outlined triangle? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 in each of the small tri outlined triangles. Describe the relationship between the area of one outlined triangle and the area of the outlined parallelogram. Well, hopefully that you can see that the area of one of the triangles is half of the area of the whole parallelogram because the whole parallelogram is 18 and the triangles are 9. So you can say the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram. Draw another parallelogram like the one, hold on one second. Sorry about that, my daughter needed me. Um, as I was saying in number five, draw another parallelogram like the one in the photo, separated into two triangles. Describe the relationship between the area of one triangle and the parallelogram. I'm gonna let you draw your own shape right here. Okay, when you have finished, then go ahead and go to the next page. Wow, Mount McKinley is actually a triangle shape too. Cool. The area, A, of a triangle is one half the product of the base and its height. Another way to say that is area equals one half times base times height. Or you could even say area equals base times height divided by two. Please look at the different ways that it can, this formula can be written. Congruent figures are figures that are the same shape and size. A parallelogram can be formed by two congruent triangles. Since congruent triangles have the same area, the area of a triangle is one half the area of the parallelogram. The base of a triangle can be any of its sides. The height is the perpendicular distance from the base to the opposite vertex. Okay, let's do an example together of finding the area of the triangle. By counting, you find that the measure of the base is six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the height is four. One, two, three, four. So then we plug it into our formula. Area equals one half times the base times the height. Plug in the six and the four for the base and the height. Multiply six times four, which is 24. Then take one half of 24, which is 12. If you are not sure how to multiply one half 
times a number or any fraction times a number. And some of you who are taking this class in Power Up in the first semester may not have learned multiplying fractions or may have forgotten from fifth grade. If you have, let me show you. You write your fraction and then you times it by the number that you're timesing by. When you're multiplying by a whole number, you can put it over 1, multiply straight across 24 over 2, which is the same thing as saying 24 divided by 2, or simplify this to 12 over 1. That is simply how you multiply a fraction. Another tip is you could use mental math to multiply 1 half times 6 times 4. Think half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 4 is 12. That's another trick. Either way. Go ahead and go to the next page as soon as you are ready. Okay, let's do another example. This one has decimals in it. So let's find the area. It's 1 half times the base times the height. 1 half times the base, which is 12.1, times 6.4, which is the height. Now, you might be thinking, oh no, how am I going to multiply a fraction times a decimal? That is crazy. Well, there's two different ways you can do this. Remember, multiplying by 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. So you could simply do 77.44 divided by 2 in your calculator, and you would get your answer. Another way is to change 1 half to a decimal. 1 half is 0.5. So you could simply say 0.5 times 77.44, and that would give you 38.72. So please remember those things as you're doing this. Um, that should help you out a lot. Um, please also remember that your unit should be in squared form because you're doing the area. And please, please, please use your calculator. Okay, let's try these two problems now on your own. Please see if you can figure these out on your own. I will write the formula for you. You fill it in. I'll write it both ways so you can get used to doing it both ways. One is one half times base times height and one is base times height divided by two. When you've finished, please check your answers. I'm back, and I'm at a new mountain. Hopefully you got the same answers that I did for problems A and B. For problem A, the area of the triangle is 9 units squared. For problem B, the area is 31.5 feet squared. Please watch to see how these were solved, and if you have any questions, please stop now and ask your teacher for more help. Problem A, you should have gotten base of 6 and height of 3. 6 times 3 is 18, and half of 18 is 9. For B, you should have had base times height divided by 2. So 9 times 7 is 62 over 2. 62 divided by 2 is 31.5. Don't forget your units are always squared. Go ahead and go to your next page as soon as you've finished. Use the formula for the area of a triangle to find missing dimensions. This is going to be very similar to what we did when we solved for missing measures in the area of a parallelogram. So find the missing dimension of the triangle. If you are given the area, which we are here, 24 centimeters squared, and then we are given the height, which is 6, we are missing the base. So our area equals base times height over 2. So 24 equals something times 6 divided by 2. Well, in order to solve that, you would multiply each side by 2. The reason you do that is because, like I gave you a hint in parallelograms, to solve an algebraic equation, you do the opposite of what was happening. So if we divide it here, we should multiply to get rid of that 2. So we multiply both sides by 2. That gives us 48 equals b times 6. The 2 disappears because these two can cross out. Okay? 48 equals b times 6. Well, you know, 6 times what is equal to 48? If you divided 48 by 6, you will find that the base is 8. 
Okay, don't forget to always check your solution by plugging this back in. So if you took the 8, put it back here, 8 times 6 is 48, 48 divided by 2 is 24. Let's see if you can do the next two on your own. Okay, C and D. Area equals 40 meters squared. So you would write 40 equals 8 times B over 2. Okay, and on this one you would write 72 equals 12 times H over 2. Remember, your first step is to multiply these two numbers. So multiply 2 times 40 and then divide by 8. That's what you do. I'm going to write you a little cheat over here. So multiply by the denominator, or multiply by 2, I should say, because it's always going to be 2 when you're doing the area of a triangle. Multiply by 2, then divide by the number next to the variable. When you are finished solving, let's check your answers. Pause now to solve the problems. Wow, you are amazing at finding the missing measures of triangles and finding the area of triangles. Hopefully, you will get the right answers for C and D. The answer to C is 10 meters. The answer to D is 12 yards. Please watch as I show you how I got that. You can see that I'm solving it here. I did 2 times 40 is 80. 80 equals 8B. 8 times something must equal 80. That would be 10. So B equals 10. On this side, 2 times 72 is 144. 144 equals 12 times H. If I divide 144 by 12, I will find that H equals 12. Okay, remember when you're finding the missing measure, your units will not be squared because only the area is squared. The individuals are sim single units. Okay, go ahead and go to this page when you are ready. Okay, let's do a real world example. The front of a camping tent has the dimensions shown. It has a height of 3 and a base of 5. How much material was used to make the front of the tent? When they ask you something like how much material would cover them an area, that is an area question. So we will plug the information that we have into our formula. Area equals 1 half times 5 times 3. Area equals 1 half times 15 or 7.5. You might be thinking, how did they get 7.5? Remember, 1 half equals 0.5 if you're using a decimal. You can do 0.5 times 15 on your calculator, which would give you 7.5 okay, feet squared. Okay, please don't forget that. That is super important. Okay, go ahead and go to your last page. We are almost done with this lesson. Now it's time for you to try a few problems on your own. Please try to solve the following problems and then check your answers at the end. At the very end, please rate how you feel about finding the area of a triangle and show this to your teacher. Okay, please find the area for the following triangles. One, two, and three are simple area problems. Number four, you are going to be finding the missing measure of the base. So remember, in that case, you will set it up area, so 21, equals base times height, which is 6 times b over 2. And remember how we taught you how to solve it on the previous screens. Number 5, you will be finding the area of the box top, and it looks like it's a little hard to see the number, so let me write those down a little bit bigger for you so you can see them, because those are very small. It looks like it's 9 and 10, so let me write that. This is 9 across the top and 10 here. Okay, so that means that the height is 9, the base is 10. And then the last question is, how is the formula for an area of a triangle related to the formula for the area of a parallelogram? Hopefully you have learned enough and have seen enough with parallelograms and triangles to know the answer to that question. When you finish, let's check your answers.
Another one. I gotta hurry. Number one, the answer is six feet squared. Number two, 48 feet squared. Number three, 87.75 meters squared. Number four, seven inches. Number five, 45 centimeters squared. And for number six, hopefully you remember that the area of a triangle is one half the area of a parallelogram. Great job. Please don't forget to rate yourself. If you had trouble with many of these problems, please stop at this point and ask your teacher for more help to make sure that you understand how to find the area of a triangle. Also, if you marked yourself as still having a lot of questions or some questions, please talk to your teacher. If you said that you understood it, great job. You're ready to move on to the note check. Bye for now.